Continuing coverage now of New York's overhaul of a Medicaid program. Just yesterday, the governor's office announced the contract award to a company which will become the exclusive administrator of statewide services. That change has many program recipients concerned about service disruptions. Isabel Garcia spoke to one of the recipients and others about the potential risk. Isabel. Yes, good afternoon to both of you. As we've been reporting, the overhaul of what's called the Consumer Directed Personal Assistance Program, better known as CDPAP, is taking upwards of 600 what are called fiscal intermediaries, which are businesses and nonprofits which help in the administrative tasks between Medicaid and the service provider, often including payroll. Hundreds of those statewide now down to one. Now, with all of this, ongoing concerns from those who receive care through CDPAP. For those who receive services from New York's CDPAP, like Jensen Caraballo, there are hesitations with the timeline of the implementation of the changes. Caraballo has been using CDPAP since he left a nursing home in 2012. Living with spinal muscular atrophy, he needs 24-7 care. He tells me he's reached out to the governor's office with his troubles about these changes and has not yet heard back. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around it because the phones complicated and scary for a lot of us that rely on the service. Um, I'm very concerned that people will end up experiencing service interruptions when we make this transition to one the state maintains there will be plenty of time to essentially iron out any concerns about transitioning care to the selected Public Partnership LLC or PPL. The Georgia-based company will now move its headquarters to New York and there will also be four regional home care partners including locally based Angels in Your Home Care which will cover Albany, Saratoga, Rochester, Buffalo, Syracuse and surrounding counties. One fiscal intermediary, Aliyah Home Care, submitted a proposal to the state to be selected as the sole FI. Sam Zakari is the regional director for the company and tells me changes in the CDPAP rates, which took effect August 1st, are already having an impact. The way that affects them is, you know, for example, one of the things we had to start implementing is that there's no more overtime. People are now getting the lower rates, whereas beforehand they were getting higher rates, um, less benefits, or, or almost no benefits in a lot of cases. Um, just it's been having a really bad effect on the patients that we currently have. Now, there, of course, is a lot to all of this. The governor's office does say recipients will not need to reapply for services, something advocates against the reform say won't really legally hold up. Again, it was just the exclusive administrator selected at this time, including those four regional subcontractors, and there will be 30-plus community partnerships yet to still be announced, according to the governor's office. Changes are set to be implemented in about seven months, April of 2025. For now, reporting in the studio, Isabel Garcia, News 8.